Hey everybody, welcome back to TNM Farms. July 10th today, and we gotta finish our spraying that we uh, started last time. So, we got Roundup again, and we got Classic. Um, this time, it's the, same, it's the same product, it's just made by DuPont. DuPont was actually the inventor of Classic before Corteva bought them out. This is just some leftover that the uh, co-op had for us, so we took that. And we gotta spray that on 23 acres to finish up our canola spraying for the Roundup Ready canola that was left in the field. And then we gotta spray just Roundup on two other fields, which is about another 20 acres. I got the uh, tank is empty still from yesterday, so got the water pump, I gotta load some water. I'll put uh, 300 gallons in this tank for now uh, for to finish off the uh, classic and Roundup tank mix. I'll toss some 100 gallons in the wash water tank and then uh, for the next, uh, when we go spray our other two fields with just Roundup, I'll toss another 300 gallons in to finish those off. I think I got about 700 gallons in the tank here, so we should have enough. Let's get filling. <music> We got our uh, 300 gallons in there for the first load and we filled up the wash water. So let's go start the tractor. And air conditioning on. It's hot out today. Now, unlock our hydraulics and we'll turn our pump on. We'll turn the pressure down though. And you can see there we got. Uh, Pressure on the gauge, just enough to circulate everything, agitate it up. So our agitator's on, and we'll input that we have 310 gallons. The chemical it'll come out to 310 gallons. So now it knows we have that much water left in there, and our rate is set to 13 and a half. And uh, let's go make some chemical. is working good. That's our map. And there's our pool. It's looking good. Uh, we got this field to do here. We did uh, that one there yesterday. Uh, that one in that corner there doesn't have any canola in it. So that one's just pure roundup. We got to spray in there. Um, this one's our last one we got to do with the classic in it. And then the, um, the other ones are just straight roundup. So, I mean, not bad. 
But you can see there, that's all canola, all that yellow. So we gotta get rid of that. But uh, Roundup should take care of that field. Alrighty, we finished up that 20 acre field. We're heading back right now. We're gonna go reload. Um, and then, we got another, I think another 20 acres of spray just with Roundup, no classic. Because uh, canola was ever put in those fields, so we're just gonna, you know, save our money and uh, just put some Roundup on. But uh, everything's working great so far. I touched up that area I ran out of product with yesterday. Um, so we're looking good. So my dad loses every single damn draw bar pin that we had. It's a game we like to play. I had a freaking pin on every single implement, and now we can't seem to find one of them. Oh, now he found two of them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He keeps on putting them in the wrong spot after he yells at me for putting things in the wrong spot. Perfect. And we're going to go break some hay now. Sprayers is disconnected, brakes hooked up. Let's get to work.
it's pretty dry we're definitely bailing tomorrow um maybe if the dew holds off we might start round bailing tonight but we'll see but like that is very dry looking good too though so it's gonna be a good year i was um i was actually impressed by how much hay we have i thought it wouldn't be this much but uh of course that's great that's great news and uh hopefully we're gonna have a great yield <laughs> everybody we disconnected the right there hooked up the square baler and wagon for tomorrow um tomorrow's gonna be a long day of bailing again so there'll be three long days in a row for me um but it's uh it's a lot of fun at the same time so we're gonna go home have some nice dinner we'll come back later move the telehandler over with the spear for the round bales and uh probably bring the round baler over too otherwise i think we got all of our hay equipment here Whew. tomorrow's the big day Look out over the field of windrows there. That's 50 acres or uh, 45 acres right there. Beautiful. Um, anyways, I guess that brings us to the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.